hey all i'm going to teach you uh, how to find the minimum difference between two continuous values in the given array so still now i have discussed uh, more about how to get the element by giving an index position as an input from the console and how to get back the index position by giving the element as an input from the console and how to find the second largest element arranging the elements in ascending order descending order and finding the duplicates by using simple method and uh, finding the duplicates by using a collection method and many more and i will be discussing more and more uh, still all the topics of an array are being covered now i want to discuss how to find the minimum difference between two continuous elements of an given array so what you can see on the screen is a logic which finds out the minimum difference between two elements in the given entire array so how do you do that it is very simple i'm going to code in front of you and i'll make sure i'll explain each and every logic i'm going to just take this out yes now there's nothing on the screen what you can see is just a uh, initialization and declaration of an array what i'm going to first do is i'm going to sort my array so people uh, 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 just based on your logic or what you want to do uh, you just think whether you want to sort your array or not so i just want i just don't want to display a negative symbol on the screen that is the reason i'm just sorting my array and uh, when you sort an array the difference or the minus operations will happen perfectly so i'll show you how i'll give arrays dot sort so there is after giving arrays dot just press control space it will show all of the inbuilt methods which is available for arrays so when you sort what you get back is you will get back two comma four comma five comma nine you have duplicates 20 comma 20 and you have 40 so what will be the minimum difference by seeing only you can say 20 minus 20 it will be zero so zero should be your output and it is the minimum difference you can have so is there anything which is minimum uh, difference you can find in this array no so 4 minus 2 will be 2 5 minus 4 will be 1 9 minus 5 will be 4 20 minus 9 will be 11 20 minus 20 is 0 40 minus 20 is 20 so 20 minus 20 is 0 this is the minimum difference you can have you can change this uh, input values and you can perform whatever you want to but then the output will be the minimum difference only and there's something important i want to tell in just take one variable integer difference to store the output and store integer it is a wrapper class i n t e integer dot max value so this is most important integer is a wrapper class dot max value is a method so this integer dot max value should will surely store some of the huge value into this variable difference so even i don't know what is that huge value uh, i'll just try fi finding it out because i have no idea what this max value stores but it stores something very huge that is the reason i have taken this so integer is a wrapper class and it has certain methods inside it so dot max value will contain some maximum value so integer dot max value which surely contains some maximum value and this maximum value will be stored into this variable int difference so what i'm gonna do now and what is the logic i'm just iterating a for loop to get an array individual elements less than a dot it is less than a dot length yes and minus one because i'm gonna do index wise comparison so i'm supposed to give minus one if you don't know why i have given this minus one please do watch my previous video videos i've explained you properly why have i taken this a dot length minus one and the logic is if a of if a of i plus one minus a of i is less than the difference okay then please store that value that is a of i plus 1 minus a of i please store these value into my output variable that is difference and finally after the for loop i'm gonna print my difference that is diff 
Now I want to explain you the logic what happens here. Oh, uh, sorry. What happens here? That is first when the i uh, a of i plus one, and I am comparing the first and I'm moving this way, this way in the opposite way, not this way. I'm just not moving two, four, five, nine, twenty. I'm moving in the ulta, ulta way. So that is uh, when a for loop iterates for the first time, it minuses four with the two. So four minus two. Again, uh, it minuses uh, five minus four. Again, it does nine minus four. It does twenty minus nine, and again it does twenty minus twenty. So twenty minus twenty. Again, it does forty minus twenty. So the most minimum difference is twenty minus twenty. So what it does if a of i plus one minus a of i a plus a plus i minus one is four if four minus one uh, four minus two is two if two is less than the difference so I have already told you difference will store something really big so two is obviously less than the difference so this two value will be stored into difference. So you understood, right? Again, the loop iterates for the second time. The five will be compared with four. That is, five minus four. So what is five minus four? It will be one. And difference will have a value two. So one is less than two, right? So well, since one is less than two, the one value will be stored into difference now. Again, the loop iterates for the second time. It will minus nine and five. So nine minus five. What is it? Four. So is four less than one? No. So it never enters into the loop. Next, it goes. Ah, uh, it never enters into. It never enters into the if condition again. It goes out of the loop. And i increments. It does twenty minus nine. That is eleven. So eleven. Eleven minus two is eleven less than two. No. So it never enters into the loop. It comes out of the if condition. And again, i increments. Again, it says twenty minus twenty. Okay, so 20 minus 20 is zero. Zero is present here. Is zero less than two? Yes, zero is less than two. So zero will be stored into difference now. Again, it comes out of the if condition. I iterates uh, increments to the last index position. That is, it minuses 40 with the 20. So 40 minus 20 is 20. So is 20 less than zero? So difference will be having what the previous iterated loop value that is zero. So is twenty less than zero? No, since twenty is not less than zero, it never enters into this if condition. So it comes after the for loop and uh, the length is done and i value is also done. So finally, it comes out of the for loop and the final value which is being stored in difference is zero. So finally, the zero will get printed. So I'll just save and run this program. What you can see is zero, right? So people, this is this simpler. So just try giving some work to your brain, and whatever. Never when you get stuck, never ever try and uh, go somewhere and search for things because at that time you become dependent and you keep searching. So at least uh, fine. You if you got if you get stuck, try try try. Okay, keep trying until and unless you get it. But when you go and search in some other websites or pages, you will get back this. You will get the solution, and you'll just do copy paste. So what did you learn? Nothing. So, but when you try giving uh, work to your brain, you can surely build a logic. That is what I did, and I'm I'm sharing what I did. So please give a work to your brain, and please keep trying instead of visiting some other websites and searching for the solution. Please do it for yourself. I mean, please give some work. and do it don't leave it until and unless you get it understood so i hope you people understood this uh, uh, thing that is how to find the minimum difference and uh, please do watch my next videos as well i'll be discussing how to find the maximum difference uh, i mean maximum value between two continuous elements also yes uh, so if you like this video please do subscribe share and tell your friends what did you learn today right so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching